Thank you for tuning in for another video. In this one, we got a real quick book review on another book by Ryan Holiday. This one is called Stillness is the Key. And one of the main things that he argued or one of the things that he talked about the most in this book was how in the world that we live in today, it's filled with distractions. It's filled with people trying to get your attention, things pulling you left, other things pulling you right. right? But he says that having that moment of stillness is being able to be in your own head with your own thoughts is so valuable to helping you right? think about the path that you want to take your life. It's so valuable in helping you think to solution, think of solutions to complex things or think of solutions to things that are giving you trouble, right? So those are some of the main things that he talks about in the book. One of my favorite things about this book was that he used a lot of kind of iconic people like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Benjamin Franklin, Teddy Roosevelt, right? He used a lot of people that were kind of you kind of unique and, and different in their own individual ways some of them were former presidents some of them were business people some of them were former professional athletes or current professional athletes and how they all have their own way of finding that stillness for example he talked about how Teddy Roosevelt would go out into the woods and just chop down trees by it with an axe and that's how he would find that stillness in his mind in the midst of being the president right so I'm sure being the president, there's a bunch of things, right, trying to get your attention. Things are happening around the world. Things are happening in your own country, right? There's headaches pretty much everywhere. So one of the ways that he found stillness, one of the ways that he was able to think to think of solutions to complex things or just kind of get that time away from all that rush, from all of that, all of that commotion, all of that craziness, he would get away from it right, by going out into the woods, chopping down trees with an ax. And then he talks about how professional athletes, a lot of them are able to kind of get in the zone during practice, right? So during practice, the only thing that they're focused on is, right, the task that they're doing at that time. And he talks about how valuable that stillness is because when you don't have that stillness, people get burnt out, right? So if all you're doing is work, 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 you get burnt out, right? He used he used one of the one of the CEOs of a pretty popular a clothing company and how he was all go 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 he didn't have any hobbies he didn't set any time right outside of work to do things that weren't work all he did was work he had a, a little cot in his office he would sleep there he'd wake up and his whole life revolved around right his business and even though it was working out at first right with time people get older you don't have the same energy that you used to have you start to get burned out people start to get sleep deprived Right? All of these things led to this CEO's downfall. And pretty much what Ryan was saying was that had he taken that time right, to find a hobby, had he taken that time to balance sleep and work and, and leisure and work, right, maybe his company could have still been up, could have still been making millions of dollars. But because he went all in, all work, nothing else, right, his, co his company eventually went down under and now he's in debt. He has pretty much a bunch of headaches now that he's going to be battling against. And it was all because he never took that time. He never took that break away from work, right? Because, I mean, it makes sense. Everybody's going to get burnt out if you're just doing the same thing and you're going, you can't redline anything, right? You can't keep anything at that crazy, crazy pace. Nothing's going to last there, right? Not a human body, not a car, not a motorcycle. You got to, you got to kind of, you got to kind of let, off the gas from time to time, right, to help you, almost like a reset button, right, it's almost like hitting the reset button, you come back feeling invigorated, you come back feeling ready to take on the new challenges, the new problems that come up, but to feel that, right, to get that invigoration, to get, to hit that reset button, you got to find the stillness, according to Ryan Holiday. Now, this is like the second or third book that I read by this author, and every single one of them has been great so far, so... I'm just going to plop it open to a random page. I don't have anything tabbed off. I usually uh, highlight or underline things that stand out to me. And I'm just going to open it up to a random page and then read it out to you. The beauty was that these creations and insights came from a better, a stiller place inside both men. And let me just say really quick that he's talking about some creations that some people invented. I don't remember exactly who he was talking about, but he was talking about two different people that created or or thought of something 
and, and where these creations, where these thoughts came from. The beauty was that these creations and insights came from a better, a stiller place inside both men. They were doing it to prove anything. They weren't doing it to prove anything. They didn't need to impress anyone. They were in the moment. Their motivations were pure. There was no insecurity, no anxiety, no creeping, painful hope that this would finally be the thing that would make them feel whole, that would give them what they had always been lacking. What do we want more in life? That's the question. It's not accomplishments. It's not popularity. It's moments when we feel like we are enough. More presence, more clarity, more insight, more truth, more stillness. And then this is just a little uh, comment that I wrote that helped me really understand what he was talking about. So this is how you should feel as you are working towards your goals. If you, if you do not feel this way, then reassess your goals and think deeply about whether or not it is what you truly want to pursue. Take some time to quiet your mind and really think about this. All right, so a lot of times people will pursue something or try to do something because they think after I get this done, all right, it's going to make me feel whole. I'm going to feel, I'm going to finally, like people say, I'm going to finally be happy once I accomplish this. And what he's saying is if that is your motivation to pursue something, more likely than not, when you accomplish right, what you set out to do, you're going to realize that it's not going to get you to feel whole. It's not going to make you feel happy. It might feel happy for, you might feel happy for a day or two, a week or two, but then after that, it's going to wear off, right? So your intentions and your goals should be pure, right? Almost like people say, when you focus on the process, right, that's when things are truly rewarding, as opposed to focusing on the end goal, instead of thinking, hey, when I get this goal, right, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to feel whole. If you're enjoying the process, keep doing it. That's the way that, that's one of the things that I took away from it. That's the way that I look at it. If you're enjoying the process and you're not doing it to impress anybody, you're not doing it because you think, hey, once I do this, I'm going to be whole, I'm going to be happy. If you're enjoying the process, keep doing it. All right, so definitely a five out of five. Make sure you check it out. It's a really quick, short read. It took me about two weeks. I mean, I could have read it in two weeks. It took me a little longer because I was busy with work and little random things that pop up here and there. But if you really sit down, you can get it done in a week or two. It's a really short read, five out of five. Make sure you check it out. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate all the views and likes, even though it's not that many. Right, we got to get started somewhere. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.